Okay, so the next step now is how to collect the oil sample. So this is the shake test syringe that comes with the Miracos. It's specially designed for Morgan Schaefer. So what we're going to do is that we're going to fill the full syringe with oil. So first thing you do is push out all the air. Here we have some oil in a container. So what we will do is fill up the syringe. So we use you know, this Tigon tube to do that. So what you do, you have to fill up the syringe and leave no air inside uh, the, uh, the, the, the syringe with you. So, whoop. so first thing, you open it here. Now, for sure, we're going to have air that's going to come because you know, there was a lot of air into the tube. So what we do is that we fill it up, the syringe, with the oil that we're going to measure. And we have to remove the air or the gas that's inside. Because if you don't do that, you're going to lose a lot of the gas that's in the oil is going to come here and you won't be able to measure it properly. So what you do is now you close this valve here and what we're going to do is push out the air slowly without making a mess out of the syringe. Okay. So now we push up the air and we're going to finish filling up the syringe. So when the syringe is full, you close your valve, you disconnect. So now we have a syringe full of oil. Now to do the proper measurement of the gas, the next step is you have to create a headspace, an air bubble. So what we have to do is push out a certain amount of oil out of the shake test syringe. So what you have to do is you turn this pin 90 degrees. What we're going to do is push out this volume of oil out of the syringe and we're going to create a headspace over here in air bubble. So by, by doing that, all, you always push out the, the proper amount of oil all, every time without making any mistake. So again, you turn out, you open the valve and we push out exactly that volume of oil. And as you can see here, you cannot go further. There's no chance of any error measurement of how much oil has to be pushed out. Now, so after you've done that, we use again the carbon dioxide trap syringe. Why we do that? We're going to create a bubble of air. The air has around 400 ppm of carbon dioxide. So we want to measure the carbon dioxide in your transformer oil. If we don't remove the carbon dioxide from the air we're going to use to create the headspace, you contaminate the result. So by using the CO2 trap, you know, we make sure that that air headspace, that air bubble is mostly made only of oxygen, nitrogen, with mostly no carbon dioxide from the outside air. So there is no cross contamination of the carbon dioxide. And the measurement we're going to get is really the level of carbon dioxide in the oil of the transformer. So what you do is you line up the syringe. And again, now you have a three way valve. So you put this one here. So this now, this is open, this is open. This here, close this valve. So this one is open and this one is open. So this is the way you do it. And what you do is that slowly you get air in and you create your headspace. 
Then you close this valve, you close this valve, and you remove the syringe and put back the, put back the cap in to make sure there's no contamination. So this is your sample that we're going to use now to analyze the oil. 